In this video I'm going to show you how you can still use your Creative XYZ2 player yeah I've got mine here um, on Windows 8 and 10 uh, as you probably found it yourself if you're like me you know, you've gone from Windows Vista which was fine um, onto Windows 8.1 then obviously the free upgrade to 10 a lot of people have done you find that it seems to be a problem the Creative Central software um, stops it from working so I'll just plug in my USB port there uh, the first thing you want to do is uninstall the Creative Central software because once you uninstall that as you can see here I've just plugged mine in it pops up and you can actually browse as you can see there uh, without it actually crashing which is always a which is a good start and as you're probably aware if you try to launch the Creative Central software uh, the software can't even see the player anyway so that's still a no-go uh, but there is a workaround. I said the first thing to do is uninstall the Creative Central software. And what we're going to do is use Windows Media Player. There you go. You don't have to type it all in. You can stop, and it comes up here. Now, what we're going to do, as you can see here, the CD is already in. Comes up with album art, track list, etc. What we're going to do is tick all them. Now you can go to your RIP settings. You can change your format. I'd use MP3. Obviously, you can use um, whatever you like, audio quality. I personally use 192. I know a lot of people use 128 kilobits per second, but I find the sound quality suffers too much. I find that better trade off. But again, that's your personal preference. And if we go to more options, here we go. Rip mute this location. We can change that. Here we go. To my Zen. OK that. OK that. Right, here we go. Now, should we go to go now? Now, we just need to press that. There we go. Start with ripping. Now, this will be a few minutes. While that's going, I would say, you know, I know you could say, well, you know, you could get another MP player, use your phone. Um, but I do feel the Creative X5 II, the one I've got, is really nice sound quality, even today. I know it's an old player. And I've still got the original headphones in one piece. And I'd say even the supplied headphones are really nice sound quality as well. Not those cheap iPod ones that Apple give out. Actually, while it's running as well, uh, if you don't know how to install Creative Central, I can quickly show you how to do that. Here we go. Uninstall, change the program. Open up fully, just as easier. Say I wanted to uninstall Doom Demo. We'll just highlight that and click Uninstall. It's quite similar good of that. Uh, once you've got rid of that again, at least then you can actually plug your player in actually browse it without crashing to the blue screen. Uh, I've also got an SD card in there which I use for storage as well sometimes. It's quite handy. Store important documents like an extra backup copy. As you can see this PC as you can see I room there but I've still got plenty of space on there for a minute. I can still keep going. Few more seconds. And of course, if you wanted to, the options. You got the location. Of course, you know, you could change it to space in your hard drive. And also have keep a copy in the hard drive if you like to. I personally don't because I run short on space. Because I find that games take a lot of hard drive space. As you can see, my uh, local disk is, uh, well, as you can see, I've only got, say, 51 gigabytes free. Um, I find games take more space these days. Uh, 
see, we're nearly done. Let's cut the last one in a second. Wait for that to finish off. Right, that, that's now finished. So now I'll close Windows Media Player. Now let's unplug my player. As I'm sure you're aware, once you put something on it, taken it off, it spends a little bit of time to rebuilding the library, as you can see there. There we go, that's done. To music, albums. Just give me a second to scroll through it. And as you can see, it's now on my Creator XYZ2 without needing the Creator Central software. So it's actually like really simple. Um, so don't be afraid of not using it anymore. Well, I mean, I did like the program, but unfortunately, it doesn't work. But Windows Media Player came to the rescue. There you go. Thank you for watching.